Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be uploading again. Today, or tonight, which is nighttime already, I'm gonna open Fast and Furious by Jada Toys, or Jada Toys Fast and Furious. Tego's Pontiac Firebird that you see at the very end of Fast and Furious 4, and briefly in the beginning of Fast 5. Yep, that's all the cars right there. You can pause that if you like and see what cars you want. The ones I want is the red and gray Chevelle. I'd really like to get me one of those. I have another Firebird right here. That is the Smokey and the Bandit car, which I am happy to have. Yep, Burt Reynolds drove this car in the uh, 1977 classic um, film by Universal Studios, Smokey and the Bandit. Also colored, oh, I'm, oh, sorry, I can't speak tonight. There's also other colors of this car. You can get it in many different colors. This is the most famous one. So, let me move the camera to the side. Sorry about that. I'm going to demonstrate opening this box with some cool music. So, I'll be right back. I got this thing open. Uh, sorry if you see me moving my hands awkwardly. I had to pull the force with this screwdriver right here. And this box could go now. Bye bye. So, what you're looking at is 132 scale or 132nd scale Jada Toys 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Beautiful cars. They're so beautiful. Very hot. Alright, so you may notice it's got the screaming chicken, but the designs are very different. Look at this one. Notice the difference on this one, along with that one? Can you see the difference? I see it. This one kind of has like that stealthy ghost flames look. And look how cool that is. Oh, wait, it's even got a cool detail. Let me go that far away, see if I can zoom into that. Oh, there you go. Can you see it? It says Trans Am 6.6 .6 liter 
That must be a 6.6 .6 liter engine. Oh, yeah. Check that out. And yeah, the, the snowflake rims look different from the bandit one. This one's uh, full gold, while this one is like half gold and silver. The main difference, I noticed that this one has striping. This one does not. Neither on the sides right here. Oh, wait, I think it does. No, it has a little bit of striping. This one has full striping. This one does not say Trans Am. But, uh, it is a Trans Am. It's just sometimes they may not always put the stickers. Or unless the buyer wants to. They both have T-tops. Notice the gold striping around there. That's only the, that's the difference I see. And they got the same rear end. Except this one has more of a brake light. Right there. See? Fast and Furious. Trans Am. Fast 5. I did see it at the beginning of the movie. Very briefly. Now let's have a look at the Burt Reynolds car. Smokey and the Bandit. There's gold, uh, um, let's say gold striping, paint, Pontiac, and Trans Am. Yep, Universal Studios. Let's have a look at this one. Same thing, so this is Tego's car. Um, if you want to know where did this car appear, I'll be happy to tell you. Alright, because I've seen the Fast and Furious movies quite a few times. Whoa! A little lighter there. So, it first appeared at the very end of Fast and Furious 4 when Brian, Mia, and Tego and Rico were about to uh, break Dom out of the prison bus. Because uh, they weren't going to let their friend or family member, as Dom would say, family, get put in prison. No, no, no. They weren't going to let that happen. The beginning of Fast 5 was so intense. But after the end of Fast and Furious 4... That was the beginning of Fast Five. So you see this car next to Mia's Acura or Honda NSX and Dom's Dodge Charger. A very intense opening scene, but very cool. It's funny how the, the two can be seen arguing <laughs> in the car in Spanish. That's pretty funny. They, they are arguing uh, bilingually in the car, <laughs> like how they're going to do the plan and whatnot. But you see this car uh, at the end of Fast and Furious 4 and uh, the beginning of Fast 5. Like, very briefly. After the opening scene, you'll never see it again. Now, my theory is that he either stored the car or he put it in storage or he loved it so much. He doesn't want to get it impounded or risk taken away by the police in Fast 5. That's my theory. And here's my Burt Reynolds car, the Smokey and the Bandit car. Man, I remember seeing this as a little kid. I fell in love with this car. Man, look at that screaming chicken. Trans Am 6.6 .6 liter engine. Whew. Smokey and the Bandit. T-tops or hard tops. It was an option for the buyer at the time. In 1977 and 81. The second gen era. Uh, many people can order their Trans Ams with or without the striping. Or without the screaming chicken. I mean, I'm not going to hate on them, but that's what they chose. I'm fine with that. And they may swap out the rims or wheels with Camaro wheels, which look pretty cool, to be honest. Yep. Two famous Firebirds right here in one video. How awesome is that? And also, for a bonus part of the video, look what I got. My Lego City sports car. Reason why it's in a bag because I didn't want to lose the pieces. So I'm gonna open the bag and show everyone what it looks like. I'm sorry. Ooh, I didn't do a video review on it. I got caught up. Here it is. Now let's move these two right here. Oh, I keep hitting something. So here it is. My Lego City Blue Sports Car. Bonus of the video. This car looks cool. Looks like something I would drive. 
Here's the interior. Not that much, but I already built it thanks to the instructions. Yeah, I would love to drive one of these. It's almost like if a car meet or a street race is about to happen. I mean, look at that. How awesome is that? Let me get the minifigure that came with it. And the two extra pieces. Which I don't risk on losing. Or I don't want to risk losing them. So I'm going to be very responsible right here. So here's what it came with. This Lego minifigure. Kind of has that smirk look on his face. Oh, Snoopy, you're playing with the Christmas present wrapping paper, aren't you? There he is. And the two replacement parts in case if I lose any parts or pieces. Yep. And here's the instructions I got. It says here you can win something. But I'm good. I'm happy what I have right now. So I'm remove these two back on the instructions. And, uh, yeah. There we go. So that is my unboxing demonstration of Tego's Firebird from Fast and Furious. One of my favorite cars. Merry Christmas, everyone.